2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is delighted to bring you the first stop of the FedEx Cup playoffs. Today's coverage of the FedEx and Jude Championship is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. Hello golfers, Luke Elvey here and uh, alongside me is my booth sparring partner, the 2002 PGA Champion, Rich Beam. Rich, we love this stage, there's some, some real energy in the air, isn't there? The quest for the FedEx Cup has begun. It's always great to see who will be the last player standing at the end of the season. Can't wait for another great week. It's all set up to be a beauty. Let's head out to the action. And let's see what he can do here today. Not really what they were hoping for there. The approach into the first at TPC Southwind Rich played uphill to a challenging green. Back up the hill ever so slightly when the pin is on the back portion of the green. It's hard to get it close, but anywhere in the front part of the green, you can get it close and make birdie. I can't believe he found the green from a lie like that. Great stuff. This putt coming up is for birdie. Just didn't drop. Yeah, that looked to be a bit of a misread. Three feet to go here to the hole. Yeah, good job. Nice par. Nothing wrong with an opening par, just easing their way into this round. The second at TPC Southwind presents the first real birdie chance. Just a short par four playing 401 yards. Absolutely flushed. Oh, well done. And Henny, what are they looking at here? Firm back up the hill. This will be a good one. It's got a chance. Putt to get to double digits under the card. Nice putt to make that one. Give yourselves a pat on the back. Two in a row there, Luke. Getting their groove on. The third hole at TPC Southwinds, a strong par five measuring over 550 yards from the back tees. A bit of water comes into play here on the second shot, so be mindful of where you leave your approach. That's some good golf right there. And Henny, what kind of a shot are they facing this time? Setting up here from about 175 yards. Well, good looking shot here. That's headed towards the green. A nice approach shot there. Pin high inside the range. Seven feet to the cup. Don't mind the look of this. Oh, what an eagle. Great putt. Well, that's certainly a step in the right direction. Keep it going. The fourth hole here at TPC Southwind is the first par three on the course, and it measures just under 200 yards. Just avoid the penalty area to the left. 
opting for the six iron. Come on, sit. Pretty good shot there. And this punt is for a big two on the scorecard. Starting to look really good. And down it goes. And that will take him to four under. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. The fifth at TPC Southwind is a long par four measuring 485 yards. It requires a good strong drive to avoid the bunker on the left and then an accurate approach into this green. Not bad. Taking aim from about 180 yards here. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Oh, this one should find the surface. Good shot, this. Outstanding shot. High quality. What an opportunity to make a birdie. Well, nicely done. Holds the putt for back to back birdies. And that will take him to five under. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. The strategy at the sixth here at TPC Southwind on this par four, measuring just under 450 yards from the tips, is to position your drive from the tee to give a clear shot into this green. That's a big drive. Second shot here on the sixth. Great looking shot this. Oh my, right by the hole. A chance for a birdie if this goes down. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. quality shot that one John what's going on out there hey guys we're checking in with Will Zalatoris as he gets set for his next shot here on the that's outstanding mark that down on the highlight reel okay let's get back to it shall we and this shot from about 150 yards out Handy effort, that one. Trying to get it to seven under par with this putt. This is what they have left for birdie here. This is tracking right into the front of this cup. Yeah, they're good momentum makers, those ones. Good putt for birdie. And that will take him to seven under. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. The eighth hole at TPC Southwind is a really nice short par three measuring just 164 yards. 
This green has been recently contoured, so accuracy or distance control off the tee is paramount. Going with the eight iron here. Left yourself an opportunity. This putt right on 12 feet to the hole. It's on a great line. Mark it down. That's six birdies today. And that will take him to eight under. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. The finishing hole on the front nine here at TPC Southwind plays downhill towards a dogleg right. There's a big body of water, the short front left of this green, so make sure you've got enough club to reach the surface. Yep, that'll work, that's fine. And he's down there. Yeah, he's got roughly 110 to the pin here. Opting for the 9-iron. Nine nine. Yeah, that's a good line. That should find the surface. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. No surprise to see Colin Morikawa have a few more highlights. Let's take a look at this one. He's a sharp shooter from short range, isn't he? Got to say, I did not see that shot coming. Well done. And a chance to reach nine under for the championship with this putt. Go on, get in the hole. And mark it down. That's birdie number seven on the scorecard. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. The 10th at TPC Southwind is a par four that plays just over 450 yards from the back tee. A lot of players take less than driver here to position their ball for the best approach to an uphill green that has a number of tiers on it. Accuracy on both shots are required. And Henny, what's he looking at here? Yeah, he's about 155 from this whole location. Oh, I like that strike. This one's heading well towards the green. Fairways and greens. Easy game, isn't it? The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens and regulation, just a fantastic Accomplishment, great to watch. Well, that'll play. Sitting at 10 under par for the event. The par 311th at TPC Southwind measures just 162 yards. But looks can be deceiving here. While it looks pretty, it can bite you. Make sure you've got enough club here on approach. Chosen the pitching reach here. That could play.
A wonderful shot. A chance for Birdie here on the 11th. And it's just about three feet away. This is their look at Birdie. Now at 11 under for the day. The par 4 12th. There's only a short one measuring 406 yards from the tips. But you need to be very accurate off the tee. Avoid that huge water hazard to the right. And that'll give you the best angle into this green. Any drive that's pushed left will make it a difficult approach. And be wary. There's water over the back of this green, which you can't see. Not quite sure about the strike on that one. This could be heading towards the rough. Second shot here on the 12th. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Seven feet to the cup. Looking good so far. And that will drop in for a birdie. Currently 12 under for the round. The 13th the TPC Southwind is a strong par four that plays uphill and a slight dog leg to the right. It requires a big drive up the right half and then a very accurate approach. There's a heavily bunkered green there, so make sure you hit your approach in the right distance. Not a bad line, this one. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? Yeah, I think he's got around 135. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. Wow, what a shot. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Hey, that's a chance. Yeah, nothing to sweat over that one. We'll hold. Now, eight shots back after that hole. The 14th at TPC Southwind is one of their signature holes. The par three that plays downhill considerably long, around 240 yards, is hit over a big body of water to the right. Fortune favours the brave here. If you need a birdie, go flag hunting. Otherwise, lay up to around 20 feet left. This one is chewing fibre. <laughs> Terrific shot. And a chance for birdie coming up here at the 14th. Well, there's the lie in the greenside bunker. Can they get this one up and down? Gary Player couldn't play bunker shots any better than that. More chance to sneak inside top 20 in the standings here with this putt. That's half a chance of being hold this one. Now seven shots behind after that. Accuracy is required at the par 4 15th, just 395 yards off the tee. Players like to lay back to give them their right number into this green. And there's a little creek that meanders through the centre of the fairway here and up to the right side of the green. So make sure your approach is accurate. Good shot there, Beamer from about 100 yards. Going with the pitching wedge here. Well, this one's right at the pin. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. Always nice to have a birdie putt. 
We continue our coverage over at the 16. Here's Tiger. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. Oh, what a shot. Mark it down as an eagle. And that'll promote a good move up the standings. And now we can take a look at how that play affects the leaderboard. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. The 16th at TPC Southwind is the last genuine birdie hole on the course. It's a par five measuring just 530 yards, but there's a lot required on the tee shot that's played uphill to a ridge. If you can get it up over the rise, a good chance for reaching the green here in two to set up a birdie and even perhaps eagle. But be wary of this green. There's a big bunker short left, and if you find it, it's not an easy up and down. Well, maybe even a par can be hard. from around 180 yards out. Going with the seven. All right, going with a little bit more club. Let's see. That was special. Let's move one step closer to the lead here. This punt for a share of four. Looking punt. Beautiful shot. And a spot in the top five also with that great shot. He currently shares fourth position. Gotta like it. Moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. The penultimate hole at TPC Southwind is a very strong par four, measuring 490 yards off the back tees. There is a little creek that runs through the centre of the fairway here, but that only catches the biggest of drives. There's two big trees either side that you want to position yourself in the middle of, so then you can hit a clean shot to the green. Two strong shots required to get onto the surface, and even once you're on the green, par isn't assured. Found the deep rough. This will take a big hack to get out here. Going with the hybrid. What a shot from the rough. This is gorgeous. And he's safely on the green with that shot. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. Rich, why don't we catch up on some of the other action going on around the course? OK, time to return to the action. Setting up here with a very long putt. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. Oh, just missed. That's disappointing. In she goes. Let's head to the next. He's in a share of fifth position. Well, the finishing hole at TPC Southwind is an absolute beauty. There's been some heroic moments like hole out eagles, and there's been triple bogeys that have cost championships. Your job is to get the ball safely into the fairway here. And if you're not a long driver, don't take on the corner. But if you can, it'll leave you just a short iron in, and a chance to seal the victory with a birdie. This one might just sneak off the fairway. The finishing hole at TPC Southwind snakes around a huge hazard to the left. Avoid the water, Rich, and then you can go for that green. This green tilts from right to left, working down towards the water on the left-hand side. But let's face it, if you hit it in the water, you've hit a horrible shot. Anything out to the right is just fine. That's a lovely shot here at the 18th and a chance for birdie at the last. Come on, let's make this putt. It's for a share of fourth on the leaderboard. 
Yep, tracking well. And that will do it for this player today.